Hello, just Jamie here. So this is a new tutorial video and today I am going to be looking at Redream, which is a really awesome Dreamcast, Sega Dreamcast emulator. Uh, the good thing about this one is that you don't need to mess around with BIOS files. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, so let's crack on with this video and show you. And remember, if you've not liked and subscribed, subscribe to get notifications for upcoming content on emulators. I also do music, uh, 80s and 90s guitar playing, models, so pretty much all the geeky stuff which is frowned upon by certain people in society. So let's take a look at this website. So if you just do a Google search for Redream like I've done, uh, it will likely be your first result, so just click on this. Uh, so you've got different options here. You can either download this for Android, so I assume this is on the Play Store if you're using Play Store. Uh, but I'm going to get the desktop version of this for this tutorial. Uh, as you can see here, you get different options for uh, high definition, uh, so different resolution um, compatibility, up to 4K. So uh, actually for the 4K, you will need to pay for this service for Redream. I've already paid uh, for the 4K version upgrade and trust me, it looks fantastic. Some of these old games from say 20 years ago honestly look really fresh and uh, revitalized in 4k so let's get on with this so uh, we just get the desktop version of this and like I was just saying you'll get the option here to upgrade to premium uh, which it says high definition uh, render to improve visual quality like I was just saying the 4k option uh, so I'm gonna just go down and get the free version for this tutorial so if we go under uh, stable releases, you'll get the most stable today, obviously, which was uh, version 1.5.0, which was released three years ago. You've also got development releases. Uh, and if you're new to this type of emulation, I would prefer uh, new new starters to this to go with the stable so just here you've got Windows you've got Apple version you have got looks like a Linux version and a Raspberry Pi version so let's just click on the Windows icon to grab the Windows version so it will say uh, Redream times 86 64 so this is going to work on 64 and 32 bit processors and um, just remember that uh, Dreamcast is a fairly old uh, system nowadays so you're not going to need anything groundbreaking to run these games uh, perhaps if you're going to be uh, upgrading to 4k you might need uh, something substantial in terms of GPU but for standard 720p to 1080p uh, an oldish PC would likely suffice so I'm going to just drag this zip file out onto my desktop and I'm going to open this and inside this we have got the application which is an exe file so just drag this one out onto the desktop and literally going to double left click on this icon and there we go so it's a fairly simple process of getting this one sorted out so uh, the point of this tutorial is the more in-depth things and let's just uh, get this one clear it's not entirely in-depth uh, I mean, I've not actually pressed anything and it's automatically detected my game, uh, which is an uh, ISO file. Um, so there we go, it even downloads, automatically downloads your artwork for you, which is pretty cool. So before we start the game and show you a bit of gameplay on what Redream, Dreamcast Emulator, can accomplish for you, let's just take a look at these different tabs at the top. So we've got System here, if we just left click on this we get different options for system op options. So we've got region, so some games are gonna be uh, region free, which I believe most Dreamcast was, uh, but we've got different options here for USA, uh, we'll have Europe, we'll have Japan. I'm gonna keep this with default for now, which is uh, United States, English language, broadcast, uh, NTSC, and we also got the cable. So the cable is gonna uh, tell us, uh, or tell the emulator, uh, the type of quality we want so if we just scroll through uh, cable we've got VGA, RGB, composite so out of all these options composite is going to give uh, the most porous looking uh, visual so I'm going to stick with VGA out of these options uh, if we go to video here it's going to give us a um, window mode if we just left click on this we can get borderless full screen 
exclusive full screen which for this tutorial I'm gonna leave it on and we got window size so if you're running a 1080p screen leave it at 1080p and I believe the uh, 3840 by 2160 uh, that's your 4k but I don't think this one is gonna work um, if you're using this um, as the free version it will work for me because like I said I do pay or I have paid which isn't too much to get the upgrade uh, game aspect ratio so this is entirely up to you uh, if you prefer the uh, traditional old-school uh, box ratio uh, with the black bars on the side then stick with four but three uh, personally I like 16 by 9 which is uh, stretched so I'm gonna be with you on this one I'm actually gonna change this to 1080p okay so we're now back at 1920 by 1080p which is 1080p uh, we're on exclusive full screen and like I said, we're going to keep that 16 by 9 because I prefer a full screen rather than the black uh, bars on the sides. Uh, input. It's already picked up my uh, PlayStation 3 6 axis controller. So this emulator is so great, you don't even need to mess around with settings. It automatically detects it. Uh, you can also have up to four players on this, which I've not tested. But I'd imagine if you plugged in a second, third or fourth controller, it's just a case of... Uh, the emulator configuring it itself so if we go to library this will be uh, to add where your games are at but like I said it's automatically detected where my games are if it doesn't automatically detect where your Dreamcast games are then you just simply add directory and navigate and search for the folder your games are stored in and then finally just go back to games and like I said a minute ago, it's automatically detected my game of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. So if I just double left click, and in fact at this point we don't need to use the keyboard because this is now automatically configured by Redream. So I'm actually using this to navigate these tabs at the top. So if I just go back down to uh, Street Fighter, just X on it. And there we go. Uh, so like I said, um, Dreamcast hardware in itself is fairly old, so emulating uh, Dreamcast isn't really a problem. And I wouldn't have even thought you needed a decent uh, GPU to, to run the game successfully, uh, especially if you're on Linux. Uh, Linux has a bit more power because it doesn't have uh, windows in the background affecting performance with its visuals and memory, eating uh, memory, that type of thing. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. Yeah, I'm and as she played this game last night and it's the first time in a very long time, still a superb game. And that's it, so I'm just using my PS3 controller as a Dreamcast controller, and it works perfectly. So as you can see, that's working really fine. And to exit this, I'm going to just press escape on my keyboard. So that's about it for this uh, tutorial. So yeah, like and subscribe, and also check out my other videos. I'm uploading a lot of different emulation videos at the moment. So uh, comment if you've got any questions and trust me the premium upgrade isn't very expensive for a redream and it's well well worth it so thanks for watching take care.